And I tell you what, if this video gets 3,000 likes, I will personally set up to Gabby Hand's Patreon and review everything on there and release a video on it. These are bullies. These are high school bullies. She can't take criticism. And they want to come at me and say, you're 29 years old, how you're acting? F*** you. Okay, so here we stand, ladies and gentlemen, with over 3,000 likes on my last video, and today I shall deliver what I promised. The Gabby Hanna Patreon. A place where fans are being charged for tiers they never signed up for. Right when you switched the tiers, I was charged $25 rather than $15, which I signed up for. I knew there were a few minor things when you first changed the tiers, mainly with being overcharged, because they didn't change tiers in time. But once they switched to the right tier, Patreon gives them a credit. Pretty sure it was a random individual problem. I was charge for $100 even though I switched to $75 I think I got credit but maybe not I have no idea what happened but I don't have the mental energy to figure this out only on the Gabby Hanna Patreon ladies and gentlemen almost as unreliable as someone coming to fix a doorbell I waited all fucking day no one turned up oh oh shit <laughs> Alright, how's it going? And welcome back to the Curtis Price channel. In today's video, we shall be once again talking about the infamous Gabby Hanna. Not only about her Patreon, but later in the video, I will be also giving some juicy ass updates. Now, I know you're all saying, Curtis, this is your third video on the Gabby Hanna situation. Are you unhinged? Well, this is Kick Ass Central, baby. Quality, not quantity. As my wife always tells me, you know, make me feel better about myself. But in my last video, we did indeed cover the Gabby Hanna doxing situation, where she allegedly doxed a minor by using a certain website to track his IP address. Also, once again, her threatening a server full of children with a lawsuit because they were criticizing her Patreon page. Paying for a service to join a Discord server where Gabby Hanna is apparently active, but is actually very absent. <laughs> you and my biological father have more things in common than I thought. But then, ladies and gentlemen, the fans agreed to never talk about Gabby Hanna publicly ever again, which birthed Gabby's ultimate plan. Would you sign papers that hold you to that? Because I'm okay with that. Okay, I know you write poetry, but over dramatic much? Yeah. But, ladies and gentlemen, with all of my ferocity and big giant sack, there I was, signing up to Gabby Hanna's Patreon. Three tiers of nothing. And today, ladies and gentlemen, we shall uncover the truth about the Gabby Hanna Patreon. Are you in yet? Yes, I'm fucking in, boys. The Gabbiana Patreon. Wow, this is fucking so much awesome content. The five dollar tier gets you access to a Discord which she never talks in. Bloody money well spent. And also blogs and diary entries. Interesting. I never cared to play the victim. I only wanted to be understood. The real ones know. Yeah, the real ones know. But for the rest of this tier, you get extra photos and extra content. However, her next tier seems to be more interesting. Bath time song covers. Oh, shit. <laughs> you know what? As soon as this video ends, I'm going to upgrade to the second tier so I can watch a 30-year-old woman bathe in the bath while singing songs that already exist. But then that's when I realized, ladies and gentlemen, there was a third tier which you have to pay $80 a month for. So I must get a whole great deal of content, right? You know, make it worth my while. No. 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 no! In the last hundred days, Gabby Hanna has posted an insane amount of content which totals up to 10. 10 pieces of content in the last hundred days that I have to pay $80 a month for. That's around $250 for basically nothing. Now you might be asking, what does Gabby Hanna's loyal following think of her Patreon? There I was, ladies and gentlemen, searching, working hard until my testicles drop, which led me to this very post. I really don't feel like I'm getting my money's worth on here. Yeah. I've already cancelled mine, but I'm living out the last days of the benefit. It sucks because I want to stay, but I just can't justify it. The life today, for example, maybe had five minutes of good conversation and the rest was just somehow clearing out her bathroom drawers. <laughs> I think Gabby has so much to offer. It's just not coming through here anyway. So your viewers pay monthly for your services to watch your live streams and you give back to them by having them spectate you cleaning out your bathroom drawers. I couldn't think of anything more fucking annoying, to be honest. But keep in mind, these are her own fans saying these things. People who signed up to her Patreon expecting something insane, but really didn't get their money's worth. And the greatest thing is about this is that Gabi Hanna has said nothing about it. Zilch. Nothing. Zero. 
Mm. She didn't try and better her tears or get more money's worth out of it. No, she just sat silently like a kid on the naughty step. But believe it or not, ladies and gentlemen, Gabby Hanna isn't the only unhinged person. No, some of her fans are also extremely unhinged also. There was one person who actually posted on the Patreon that they were upset with Gabby's recent actions, being honest and genuinely hurt by their idol's poor decisions. I'm struggling. I find some of Gabby Hanna's actions really upsetting. I think you know what I'm referring to when I say this. Am I the only one? Gabby's Patreon wasn't the place for this. This is supposed to be a safe place for her, not yet another place for people to talk about how they don't like her behaviour. I don't get it. I thought this would be a good place to speak about it, to see if others are sad as I am. This comment seems very combative for a simple question since I'm clearly just upset and concerned for her. As you're probably aware, Gabby said she is fine. You said you found her behaviour upsetting, not that you were concerned. So, I felt I needed to say that. This isn't a good place for your judgement. How dare you not show concern for our Queen Gabby, you selfish scum! Eat my ass! Well, you see, Princess, some of us have our own fucking problems to be concerned about. Can't have the time to worry about other people all the time. It's actually very funny you say that because what you're basically saying is, is that you can't be angry or upset with Gabby's actions on a platform that you pay out of your own pocket to someone who you thought you could look up to. Yeah. Makes sense. You're not allowed to have an opinion on Gabby Hanna's Patreon. I know you pay monthly, but you fucking suck, alright? Don't put Gabby down in a safe haven, you fucking prick. And honestly, everyone is hoping that Gabby Hanna will change her behaviour, but for me, it's like staring at the wall, which, if you didn't know, always stays the same. It never changes. No matter how many times you leave the room, or leave the house, and you come back to check on her later on, it's still gonna be the same wall doesn't change. And the most ironic thing about this is the person who complained about Gabby's behaviour is still a member. But the person who defended Gabby's honour is no longer a part of the fuckfest. But before we continue, I would love to say, subscribe to the channel everyone, because we are almost on 80k, we are literally 500 subscribers away, and then our next goal will be 90k, which I would love to hit by the end of June. So, let's do it. And obviously, here's the little baby which I bring in in every video, you know you love her, you love her so much, I know you can send in the comments. Where's the love for me, yeah? And also like the video, let's get 3,000 likes in this video and comment for the algorithm. I will always reply to those comments in the first two days of the video being released. And then for this little pup, join the channel membership, which you get one video one day earlier before everyone else. Isn't that a bargain? Hmm? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. But with that said, let's actually look at some of the things that Gabby Hanna has posted on her Patreon. Bullies. I was raised by a bully. Grew up seeking love from bullies. Allowed myself to be bullied became a bully without realizing I was the bully. Now that, ladies and gentlemen, is a fantastic and very true piece of poetry right there. You kinda did become the bully, Gabby, when you decided to call out every YouTuber for no apparent reason. Like when you sent your poetry to Rachel Oates for criticism. When she gave it to you, you called her talentless and went off on her massively. But now we are indeed gonna be talking about something a little bit more interesting. Gabby Hanna has been exposed by her very own blood. Accused for apparently stealing her sister's artwork and also trying to ruin her sister's family. So let's talk about him. For that we are indeed going to be going to Mr. Exposed. The man with the biggest sack I have ever seen. The human with a giant ass horse cock. It's me. It's me. <laughs> Good evening, my name is Mr. Exposed and this is where I expose these whores. <laughs> But straight to the point, Gabby Hanna, jumping on the offensive, I see. But what might this be? What we are looking at right now, ladies and gentlemen, is Gabby Hanna's sister exposing her for stealing her artwork and not giving credit. So now you're also a thief. And there was me thinking that this ship couldn't sink any lower. Gabby Hanna's sister released an Instagram post explaining the situation. And this is what she had to say, ladies and gentlemen. For everyone asking me, my art was published on my IG page seven months ago prior to the ad at all scene being published. My work was used as well as the rest of my siblings. None of us were given credit for our illustrations or concepts. I'm speaking out now because for the last two years I've been asking Gabby to credit me for my work. To protect me. <laughs> the protection of intellectual integrity is a bigger issue now than it ever has been because of social media and like many musicians and artists. I'm speaking out against work being used by so-called big stars and proper credit not being due to the actual creators. It pains me to say that I'm being accused of trying to ruin Gabby's career by speaking out, but I also don't support queer baiting by the right individuals for likes and views. No matter what, I am someone who values integrity and the truth, of which everything I have said is just that. I appreciate all the respectful questions and support I've gotten from intelligent and enlightening individuals that aren't afraid to think for themselves. Never be afraid to fight for your work. But that is interesting, ladies and gentlemen. It's as if Gabby Hanna wants all the clout to herself. Like a greedy person ordering a family platter just for themselves to fucking eat. This is also known as a very common word. 
selfish. But as we can see, Gabi Hanna's sister has been asking for credit for the last two years and failed to do so. One of Gabi's fans actually messaged Gabi Hanna's sister, Sharissa, and said this. Hey Sharissa, I'm so glad you're coming out about Gabi, not crediting your work. You're an amazing artist and I hope all this works out for you. I was a fan of Gabi, but I do not support that behaviour. Have a good night. Fucking hell. Lucky you didn't say that on the Gabiana Patreon. Really isn't the place for that shit. But ladies and gentlemen, in my opinion, Gabiana's the sister I've always fucking wanted. Oh, she's a wonderful family member. Supports family. Brings people together. Yeah, fucking right. Is your head in your ass? Believe it or not, ladies and gentlemen, Gabby Hanna tried to break apart her sister's family. And what kind of a person would do that to their own sister? This is what Sharissa had to say. Like I said years before, and many of you came for me, she used my work, did not credit me as an artist, and proceeded to brag online about her making 10,000 a year for four years on the book, and then went half on a $70 baby shower gift to my son. The first, only, and the last he'll ever get from her. Which is good because she is not allowed around my family because of her sick behavior, including the time she messaged John on Facebook. Asha was an infant and she tried to warn him about how crazy I am. She was trying to break up my family. He then put her in her place and took care of that immediately. Stop enabling her. Stop defending her. To me, just stop. That's pretty insane, don't you think, that your own sister tries to break apart your family? But in my opinion, I do believe that family problems should be kept behind doors. When you have a sister who's using your artwork and not giving you credit, what else option do you have than to talk about her on the internet? Like Sharissa said, she's been trying to get credit for the last two bloody years, and Gabby Hanna failed to give her credit. Due to the fact Gabby's an internet star, maybe the only way we can get Gabby to listen is by calling her out publicly. That seems like the only option left, considering of Gabby's disgusting behaviour recently. But yes, ladies and gentlemen, that is indeed the end of today's video. If you did enjoy, leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and join the channel membership. I love you forever, and yeah, we'll be back in due time with a new video. Let me know what you thought in the comment section. You mad, bro? Uh, yeah. I said, tell me what you mad for. Uh, you mad, bro? Uh.